All right, before I give you your assignment, I need to show you some navigation tricks. To do that, I'm going to first also show you cylindrical mapping. So um, I'm going to take these and clear all the seams on this cylinder. Cylindrical mapping must be learned because it's one of those things that comes up in conversation. If you're in a th another program that doesn't support UVW unwrapping, like Blender does, uh, let's say Maya, you're going to be talking about cylindrical mapping. So in this case, I'm going to jump into my side view and highlight all the faces going around, jump back into my side view and hit U on the keyboard and hit cylindrical projection. Okay, let me show you what that looks like with the checker pattern. Okay, and you can see it's very ununiformed, right? How do I fix that? Well, here's some navigation tricks. First off, this is shell selection. So I can highlight the entire shell all at the same time. G is to grab. Let's say I grab it and I didn't want to grab it. I can hit right click to cancel. R is to rotate. Again, if I feel that I've made a mistake by rotating it, I can right click to cancel. And S is to scale. Now, let me grab this, put it over here. Let's hit scale, but what if I only want to scale in one axis? So in UV world, that is X and Y. If I hit S and then X on the keyboard, it allows me to scale in X only. If I hit S on the keyboard then Y, again, it allows me to only scale in the Y direction. So you have to learn that stuff. So if I hit S and then X, I can scale this and you can see automatically it's starting to turn into a square. So that's cylindrical mapping. We don't use it very often because we have UVW unwrapping. So let me show you how to UVW unwrap this. Let's go back to solid. Let me turn off selection. Okay. Okay, I'm going to mark the seam there. And then I'm going to put a seam here. So I already marked that out. Okay, a tab on the keyboard to get back into edit mode, mode, A on the keyboard to highlight everything, U on the keyboard to unwrap. And there we go. So what's the checker pattern look like now? Good. But the side has bigger checkers than the top. Okay, and what did I have to do for that? Do you remember? Uh, I highlighted all the faces and I went into UVs and I said average island scale. And then I went into UVs and I said pack islands. Now, in some cases that works. In this case it did not. That is why you need to know how to do it manually also. So in this case, if I hold shift, I can highlight both of these items and I can hit S to scale them uniformly down. Now it's very temperamental and very glitchy. So, oops. I will say the further that you are zoomed in on the item inside the window, the better it is. So now you can see I can make finer adjustments because I'm zoomed in. How did I zoom in? Control, middle mouse button to zoom, shift, middle mouse button to pan. So now you see that this is very uniform and the fact that these are the correct squares going all the way around. And then if I apply that ugly leather, there we go. It's got the same resolution here than it as up here. And everything's on the zero to one ratio. All right, 
now that you know basic navigation, uh, cylindrical mapping, and you don't have to use cylindrical mapping in Blender class, but know that it exists. Let's go on to the next video.